Um, my wife is my favorite person. When I was a little boy, I remember asking my dad, hey dad, who's your best friend? And my dad said, well, your mom's my best friend. And I was like, no, I know you have to say that, but really, who's your best friend? And he repeated that it was, in fact, my mother who was his best friend. And I'm like, okay, so I know she controls the food and <laughs> washes the clothes. And I, I can't think of anything else she does that would be She's responsible for those things. So, but she doesn't seem very fun to hang out with. She's a mom. <laughs> and my dad told me how, in addition to being husband and wife, they were friends. I was like, eight. it was a concept I just did not understand at all. Wants to be friends with a girl and have a best friend be a girl? That was gross. <laughs> but I totally get it. I mean, it only took me until I was in my 20s. Um, uh, my wife, Anne, is my best friend in the world. We are a phenomenal team. We complement each other really, really well. And I absolutely cannot imagine my life without her in it. And when I was younger, and we were raising our kids, who are now grown and out of the house. <laughs> that, that's right. It means everything you think it means. <laughs> we only shop for two now. Um, when I was younger, I wrote a lot about raising the kids, and what it was like to be a stepfather, and, and the challenge of parenting with that, and I realized that since the kids uh, grew up and, and moved out on their own, that a lot of the stories I write are actually about this new phase of my life, where it's my wife and I uh, just sort of like being friends and hanging out and goofing off, and, 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 and here's the thing, you guys, we're in a mixed marriage, right? Like, I'm a nerd and my wife is a normal. <laughs> Some of you may be able to relate. But since she got uh, since she got her iPhone and got access to like the technology that I've just taken for granted forever, totally becoming a nerd. She plays Sailors of the Tan with me. She reads comments on my blog. She plays games with her friends. She texts me pictures of our dogs being cute. Um, uh, she is uh, just like, she has. She is embracing technology and admitting that she's a little bit more of a nerd than she thought she was kind of one day at a time until we had. So years ago, I wrote this story about uh, Anne and me before she had really sort of like embraced the nerd side. Um, and I never published it, and I don't know why, because it's funny and it's sweet, and it just sat in my, uh, in my drafts folder on my blog, and I published it uh, just a, maybe a month or so ago, and uh, this is another thing that people requested, so I will read it for you now. It's called, In Which My Wife is Nerd Adjacent and Comedy Ensues. <laughs> hey, I said to Anne while we stood in the kitchen last night, do you remember that song from Avenue Q, The Internet is for Porn? <laughs> She made a gruff Muppet voice and sang, The internet is for porn. The internet is for porn. Porn, porn, porn. She stirred whatever was on the stove and she said, That song? Yes, I said, That song. I put my hands in my pockets and I leaned back on my heels, striking my famous, I'm so proud of what I'm about to tell you gesture. <laughs> The holodeck is for poor. <laughs> I smiled and I waited for her to join me in laughter. <laughs> At first, all she did was blink. <laughs> then she frowned, like she was trying to solve a puzzle. <laughs> Which, I guess, she kind of was. <laughs> Finally, she cocked her head to one side and looked to me like I had spoken in a foreign language, which I guess kind of I had. <laughs> you, um, you don't know what the holodeck is, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I know that it's from Star Trek. <laughs> How the holodeck works, 
describing my best not to speak in geek, which as it turns out is very difficult to do when you're describing the primary functions and inner workings of the holodeck. <laughs> You see, I concluded, if the holodeck was real, everyone would use it for porn. That's why that t-shirt is funny. Okay. We looked at each other for a few seconds. I said, I can't believe that you've been married to me for ten years. And this is the first time we've ever had a conversation about the holiday. <laughs> yeah, she said. I don't know how we did it. <laughs>